know as a, as an actress, you may know as a, a philanthropist and all those. Put your hands together for Na Shaka. For a while, oh. I know. Wow. I did like I know they. Hey. <laughs> well, it's interesting. You haven't, you know. I, I know you got lost. But then I heard that you went to Bonn. Yes, Bonn one. You went to Bonn one, yes. yes. And you are still like. <laughs> Thank you. Bonnless. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. How are you, you doing? I'm good. Yeah. How are you? I'm good, oh. I'm I did like I know they. <laughs> eh? How is motherhood? Ah. Oh. <laughs> it's all kinds of things rolled in one. <laughs> so it's 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 nice, it's troubling, it's tiring, it's beautiful, it's emotional. Yeah. But I think just to describe it in one word, it's beautiful. <laughs> yeah. So what uh, so you have more in mind or you Yes. I want more. <laughs> you want more? Yes. Like I, think, I think I want one more. I read an article recently who said that um, middle children are going extinct with millennials. So now most people just want two. And I think I'm one of those people. Yeah. Unless I get twins. Yeah. Or yeah. Or triplets. Yeah. Which would be why, why, why do you think it's changing? Why do people just want one, two <sighs> now? I don't know. You know, I think it's just changing with the years. Yeah. Many, many, many years ago, I've forefathers wanted so many because yeah. of the times you know yeah. the more children you had the more hands you had on the farm mm -hmm. to help with the work mm -hmm. so the number of your children translated into your economic, economic um, yeah. you know, gains but, yeah. but now it's not like that <laughs> no, the more children economic, you have economic loss yeah the more you have <laughs> 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 so, yeah. I had a funny story that my grandmother told me that um, uh, they were very upset with my father you know why because he married my mom at that time he was like a Presbyterian teacher okay and they were noted for really Producing, you know, <laughs> Is that so right? they were very disappointed that he had only six. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he had only six. Oh, wow. You know, you president, hey, I think they were expecting like 12, I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, wow. yeah, times have changed, man. Wow. You yeah, know, times have changed. how many yeah. do you have? I have yeah. five, but um, oh, right, yeah, you do, yeah, 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 you know. <laughs> Oh, that's all, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and um, so, yeah, so what, what, what's been new? Oh, you moved from um, Star FM. Yes, I moved from the EIB network. EIB, yeah. And I joined the multimedia group. Mm, the why? multimedia they family. They paid you more money? Hmm. <laughs> let, me, let me calculate. While I do that, um, yes, yeah, so I moved, I moved to the multimedia group, family, as I like to call it, or as we call ourselves, we are joy. Yes, um... I was with EIB for about three years, mm. I believe. Yes. I went to Born One, and when I came back... You went to... I, <laughs> I moved to Multimedia, and it's been wonderful. It was, it was a great step I took. And did I'm, they push you, or you approached them, or...? You know, I was in the middle. I had just come back, and I was home, you know? I was on maternity leave, and then I was home, and I was wondering what to do, and... It's a real difficult decision to make to go back to work, mm. you know? after you have a baby, yeah, especially yeah. when it's your first, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. you don't know anything, and you're trying to figure it all out, and then you have to go to work when you're still breastfeeding, and mm -hmm. you don't know, mm -hmm. how am I going to do this? How are you juggling all that? It's not very fun being a breastfeeding mom in Dumso era, in the Dumso country, mm -hmm. when you have to store milk, and then you can't really store the milk, and then you have to go to work, and then you don't have electricity, so the storage isn't going too well, and you have to move. So literally, when I started work, I was having to carry him about my car a lot. Mm. So he was always with me. And then I couldn't take him everywhere anymore because I was beginning to feel like I was unsafe on the road with, you know, yeah, he was very yeah. little all the time. So I was literally moving from work to home to breastfeed and come back because I wanted to do exclusive for six months. Mm. <sighs> mm. Mm. How was it the first time that you went without him? The first time you decided, you know, now, now, now I'm going. How was it? I went back home. You went back home? Yeah, I did. <laughs> I went back home. It, it's hard. You know, you don't really understand until you experience it. I remember working with women, you know, they're like, oh, and my baby this and my baby that, and I have to do this for my baby. And it all sounded like a story, you know. <laughs> Sometimes it sounds like an excuse not to get the work done. Sometimes it sounds like, oh, she's just 
too excited about her baby. Yeah. But when you experience it, you realize it's not just a story or just another one of those things. Or it is hard. <laughs> it's but, hard. Wow. But you know, in our system, sometimes your know, mother comes to live with you, or mother in law. Who did you get hands like that? But you wanted to do it all by yourself, or ah, uh, well, I I got some help sometimes, and then the help stopped coming because you know you don't get help all the way. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's it's just for a little while, mm -hmm. and then you have to you have to come back. And I was I'd been watching all these videos about nannies molesting babies, videos about mothers taking their eyes off their babies for a second, and then something happens. Recently, we heard about the bunch. You know, they're very scary stories. Yeah, yeah. And when, you, when you're when a mother, when you become a parent, you realize how real they are. Mm. So, for me, I didn't want to hire a nanny. I tried. Mm. I tried. But I just couldn't. You're not comfortable. I couldn't never go through with it. With it. Yeah. So, so, I never had one. Never had really? one. Really? Yes. So, it's just been me. And when my sisters have time, they help sometimes, every now and again. But... And my mother-in-law also could help every night again, but she's sold. So, you know, it, she's old. So, so she tried her best. But at the end of the day, Charlie, it was just my husband and I. Just my husband and I, most of the time. And we didn't have help. We didn't have a nanny. Still don't. But we're, we're figuring it out somehow. What? Yeah. 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 But you know what they say? It takes a village. I could, I could see my friends. I'm taking care of my baby. I, I have this uh, friend who does so much for my family, and I, her name is Cordelia Amaselome. She takes him most of the time. Mm. My sisters take him sometimes. Uh, my mother in law, when she can, sometimes I take him to work. So my producers are Joy, Philip, and Delao. Oh, really? they, all, they all have a hand in it. Yeah, it <laughs> takes a village, man. It takes a village. Mm, mm. Our mothers have suffered, though. They have, all. And our fathers, too. <laughs> We have somewhat suffered. Some, some. some. <laughs> yeah. can, you, can you tell by the Mother's Day and Father's Day? Do you see the difference? I know. It's almost I embarrassing. Know, I know. I know. Do you know what day Father's Day is? No. <laughs> well. <laughs> well. Well. But, but you know, I, I think the fathers do try also. And my husband tries. He, yeah. he taught me how to change a diaper. He, yeah, he, he did. did. At the hospital. Mm. I had no idea. I think the millennials, the role of the men are changing with... Exactly. Yeah, you know, they are more active, they yes. participate more, yes, yes. they want to be there, yes. you know. But my father though, my father Your was father? very hands-on really? in raising us. My father taught me how to cook. Really? Yeah. So, I, I think we, we need to teach our sons more. Yeah, you know, definitely. How definitely. to be present, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. in, in raising the kids. It's important. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because the mothers are helping financially now. Yeah. So, you know, the fathers should also help, yeah. you know, yeah. With, yeah. with the home. Gone are the days when yeah. we were the breadwinners yes. and we were the housewives and you were the housewives how i miss those days if <laughs> here we are yeah <laughs> but it's good it's good so how, how's the man how is he holding up so far the big man or the small man no the big man the, the big, big man. man yeah oh he's great yeah. he's doing well uh being a daddy and and all of that he, he's doing well he's doing well fantastic he stays up at night with me mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. <laughs> so we're both sleep deprived <laughs> we're hanging in there. <laughs> we're hanging and you both wake up and go to work yes yeah we both wake up and go to work and then we both stay up all night mm. and then it's a cycle i hope yeah. we don't just fall collapse in the middle of the road one of these days this yeah. morning for example i was coming to work i tell you a funny story i was coming to work I was supposed to drop him off and he's usually very noisy in the car. He will cry. He will throw things at me. He'll do stuff. But today, he was so quiet. Mm. And earlier, we had arranged, my husband and I, that he'll drop him off. So mm. I was going to come to work by myself today. So I put him in the car behind me, in the car seat. And so he was behind me. And he was asleep. Quiet. So as I was going, somehow... I forgot he was there. Wow. He was that quiet. He was quiet. He was sleeping. I forgot he was there. He was behind me. So I didn't see him. You know, normally he's a, a, on the other side. Yeah. So I, I look at him and play with him. But because he was quiet. I forgot he was in there. I yeah. forgot he was in there. And in my mind, my husband had probably still taken. I don't know. I wasn't thinking. I was just absent-minded. I was just thinking about work. So I got to the office car park. And, and the there day he was. was. At the back of the car. And I was like, oh my God. <laughs> Oh my, so I took a picture. I actually, I, I put it up on my WhatsApp status. I just got to wow. work. I realized my, son, realized is my son is still in the car. So I had to go back. Wow. And drop him off. <laughs> 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 I 
Just your parents. <laughs> Story of my life. Wow. I was so disappointed in myself. <laughs> I couldn't believe I forgot he was in the car with me the whole time. But well. Wow. So it happens. Yeah. Oh, and, and, and sorry, you know, in, in that in the same light, this guy went to, um, I think it's Christ the King. So what to pick their little boy up, you know? And so the boy ran to the car, opened the door, and realized he didn't bring his book or something. So he closed the door. Oh, he went boy. back, and the dad said, "Oh, great." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And went home. Oh my! I realized God. he drove home alone. So <laughs> So wow. parenting, uh, there, 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 are, there are stories with parenting, man. Ah. Mm. But that's great. So you are now back on air. Yes. And I see you're hosting this um, showbiz HD show, yeah. and strong and sassy. Yes, they are so, my new babies now on Joe mm, FM. Mm, so, mm. Showbiz Agency used to be Rhythms Agency. It, it was my one stop shop for everything entertainment. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't know what's happening in the industry unless you listen to that show. Mm -hmm. So, um, when I came back and I got an offer from Joy, and they said, show this uh, Rhythms A to Z, we want to rebrand it. I was like, hey, yeah. that show? Yeah. That same show? <laughs> you know, you can think things into being. Yeah. It's true what they say. We're Thoughts become about things. It. Yeah, it's something, it's a show I used to listen to all the time. And it was like the show for entertainment, like the show over there. And I was over here. And it was there. And now, now it's my baby. It's your baby now. Yeah, now it's my baby. Wow. Yeah. So we're very excited about it. You, yeah. And the, the word really sassy exciting. and strong. Strong and sassy. Sa now that's, and that's my fresh baby. So Strong and Sassy is a girl talk show. We talk about everything women related. Mm. So we mm. talk about babies. And we talk about sex. And we talk about um, parenting. <laughs> <laughs> we talk about, you know, um, um, troubles we have at the workplace. We're talking about having a fine, a fine blend between... Work life mm. and then family life. Okay. And if it's possible at all, because you know what they say? When you work, when you're a career woman, your children are going to suffer. It's not possible. You can't have a good blend. It's not possible. If you're successful at work, it means someone is raising your child. Really? You're not doing it. Someone else is doing it. Is that it. true? That's what, what they say. What do I think? I think it's possible to be present in both situations, but you cannot have a perfect blend. So when you're home, for example, like when I'm home with my son, I try to put my phone away. I try to be with him. So I notice things he does and try to mm -hmm, be with mm -hmm, him. Mm -hmm. So I try to be present with him. And when I'm at work, I try. Yeah. God knows I try to be at work. at work. So I'm not constantly checking up. What's happening? What's he doing? Send me a video. Send me a picture. What's he saying? Video call. I try to be present. But a good blend or a, an equal blend, it's, it's not possible. Mm, I'm, I'm at mm, work more than I'm home. Mm, and that's the truth. Mm, and that's mm. the truth for a lot of working parents. Mm. We are at work more than we are at home. Unless you own your own business and you can work from home or you can take a child to yeah, work. Yeah. And recently my friend told me that, look now, the moment you become a mother, you need to wake your entrepreneurial genes up if you want to be able to raise a, your child. So if you're able to work for yourself and you're able to control your hours, you can take care of your child as well. But if you want to stay in corporate or work for someone, then someone else is going to be raising, mm, raising your kid. Mm, and mm. It's, it's sad, but it's kind of true, you know? So, so it's possible to yeah. be present. Mm -hmm. But to have an mm. equal blend, you might probably end up missing out on both. I see. I see. Has there been any topic that you've treated and you yourself have found information coming out startling? Any from, from my... From my yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, we talked about abortions and whether or not it, it's, uh, it was... Um, so basically, the direction of the conversation was supposed to be emotional trauma after abortions. Now, we all know it's illegal, but then there are certain circumstances that are permitted, like when it's, it's injurious to the mother's health or if it's the outcome of sexual abuse and all of that. So a girl called in and said she had had six abortions mm. and she was begging any woman who was listening to the show that even if your gun raped by whatever number of men don't and you can keep it keep the child because the trauma after really? terminating a pregnancy is much worse for some women mm -hmm. for some women it's a relief mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. then for some other women it's so traumatic mm. so she says that she has vivid live nightmares but she had six you went through six times she did it six times 
And after the sixth one, she realized she was going crazy because every time she terminates her pregnancy, she has many months of nightmares where she sees the children begging her to, or, or coming after her, and she has to beg them for forgiveness. And so she did it six times? She has life, yeah. Wow. And so she's like, look, now nah, when I sleep, I see my children, and they, they come to me, and I'm, I have to beg them, and I wake up screaming all the time. And she sees them. She's like, look, if I see them in real life, I'll recognize them. Really? And That's interesting. It was so weird. And she called in just about the time the, phone, the show was ending. So when the show ended, I, I was cold. I was shivering. Wow. I, I can't narrate it like she did. But it's probably one of the weirdest, scariest things I've ever heard. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I had spoken to other people who had mm. had abortions during the show. A woman called, she had cesarean, so she couldn't, you have to apparently wait two years before you have the next. I didn't know that. So she got pregnant, had a baby. Six months later, she was pregnant. Three months later, she was pregnant. So six months later, she was pregnant, so she had to terminate it. And then three months after that termination, she was pregnant again. Mm. And she had to keep terminating the wow. pregnancy. She's wow. married. But for health reasons, she had to terminate them. That was sad and painful. I mean, for someone who has had a baby, to have to terminate pregnancy, I think, would be harder than someone who hasn't. I don't know. Because she's... They, they didn't, like, sit down and discuss, the, he and the man? You yeah, know? the doctors. Apparently, uh, it was in her own interest, you know, for her health. Yeah. Because she had just had a cesarean session. Yeah. She couldn't have another baby immediately yeah. after. Now I'm talking about and they couldn't like prevent it. Though, yeah, you know. that, you know, that, yeah. that. But then, while well, she was getting anyway. pregnant, mm -hmm. anyway, so, yeah. So, so that show had me, yeah, I was cold, literally cold after that show. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And then um, moving away from the disturbing <laughs> traumas of abortion yeah. you've been doing well you've been trying to use your instagram yes. to help with startups tell me something about because i i thought it was so so warm you know oh. that somebody who has a platform like that will offer it that if you're a startup you know t t t tell us so i'll bit. tell you about it yeah i have a startup or two. I have a theatre production company, April Communications, April, yeah. that does plays. I've been to your event. Yes! Yes! You're always in the front. <laughs> Thank you for supporting the hustle. <laughs> and then I have a digital food stuff market called Jano, where people call to order tomatoes and pepper oh, and all wow. of that. Digital food stuff market. Yes. Called Jano. Jano, like marketing gun. Hmm. So we, we basically shop for you, we bring your food stuff to your home. So if really? you want to cook palm nut soup, just let us know. We bring you all the ingredients. For only 20 Ghana CDs, and then you pay for the food stuff. So, yeah. So, we've been, we set this company up about two years ago, and we've been hustling to get people to understand the business and, you know, sign on and use our app. We, we have an app that you can, you can shop on, you know, mm -hmm. just like Amazon and all of that. Mm. But it's been real difficult trying to get a me message across. And I have 850,000 followers on Instagram, and I'm struggling. I can't pay for advertising because I only make 20 Ghana CDs per delivery. I can't pay, you know. And every time you ask people with a lot of following to post for you, your friends will post and then they take it off the next day and stuff like that. I don't know why people do that. <laughs> I've never deleted anything from my Instagram, you know, unless it's personal and I'm uncomfortable with it being there. But if I advertise your product, I'll leave it there so that people who come to my page later will see it. So even for me with all that following, and I see how I'm hustling. I just thought to myself, look, I can imagine what others, are others doing, with yeah. 100 followers, 50 followers, even 1,000 followers are going through. So it was just one, I think it was a Monday morning last week. A lady brought me shito and said, oh, now nah, I really want you to taste my shito. I'm sampling it. I think it's called chana shito. I want, I'm sampling it, taste my shito. So she took it to people to sample. And after I tasted it, I was like, oh, this shito is really nice. Let me put it up on my, my page for you. Mm -hmm. So I went to her page and looked at her page. Right? And then I posted it on my page. And a few minutes later, I went back to her page and saw that her following had, you know, grown. So I thought, oh, I'm glad I could help. Perhaps I could do this for all the other... Hmm. Startups you know, startups yeah. on Instagram who would want a little push, you know, who would want at least my 800,000 people That's, to see yeah. their business. Yeah. So when I went to Photoshop and typed out something and put it out and 
oh my god the responses i got was overwhelming i honestly wasn't expecting to get that number that, of that people of response, yeah. reaching out so i said i was going to so basically this is what i decided to do that every monday i dedicate my page to posting about three startups let you know what they do their business where they are and encourage people to follow them and patronize you know their business i realized i couldn't do three a day because three a day will mean i'll be posting for about five years or so <laughs> considering the number yeah. of messages yeah. that came in so i decided to do it all the time as wow. often as i can so yesterday i did some today i'll do some tomorrow i'll do some and i just keep going and i'm glad i can help it doesn't cost anything it's yeah. free to put yeah advertise yeah. on instagram i'm not paying for it so so i'm happy to be able to help um young startups the economy is hard things are hard things are hard and yeah. We're encouraging more and more people to start up their own businesses. That's the way to go now. We That's don't the way have an go. enabling exactly. environment for them to try. It's exactly. hard. Exactly. Exactly. So I would like to actually um, encourage my co-broadcasters and actors, and you know, if you have a big following, help a startup. You don't have to. It, it's it's free, really. And you, you, you ask the same people to watch your films and watch you on TV and watch you on radio. They're yeah. supporting you. This yeah. is how you can also support them. So. Do you, do you do any screening before you can well, I, when you just throw anything and then you well, publish they, or you I ask people to DM me. So when you DM me, I look at it. Okay. I ask you my people, mm -hmm. you know, my people to mm -hmm. look at it. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. then if it's good, good then it goes. Okay. Then okay. it goes. So yeah. we do that for uh, the whole week and then yeah. on Monday we post. Well, big up to that. <laughs> when, when I saw that, I was like, I was impressed, you know. I'm like, yeah, you know. Because we need that. Yeah. I mean, times are quite hard, you know. And yeah. the, the, the right now, the immediate way you can think about it is people starting to do things on their own. Start yeah. something. Yeah. So and for social you to media is a platform that all the startups are using now. Mm -hmm. So yes, we should be able to help. In fact, if I get some money, I'll probably even do sponsored ads for it. Mm -hmm. Because sponsored ads are just $5 yeah. an ad. It's not much. We, yeah. can, we, we should all help. You will get money. It's not an if matter. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> I hear Joy is planning a big race, man. So does it. Oh, are they? Yeah. Oh my God, is that so? And I heard it from a very reliable source. Thank so you can quote me. I will. So I said it for the whole Ghana to get. That's <laughs> 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 Thank you so much. <laughs> Stick around, folks, we'll be right back. <laughs>